Hey guys, Dan Picard here with Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Today we're going to review the Matthews Triax. Down to just about freezing. Now this is new for 2018, and boy is it a short one. We're at 28 inch axle to axle. It's one of the shorter bows we've seen from Matthews for quite some time. They haven't changed too much about the construction of the bow compared to the Halon or the Halon 32, other than the length of the riser and the harmonic dampening system. Initially, I thought it would be a little bit difficult to shoot, but it's not really. I, I can't even tell the difference when shooting my Halon 30 side by side. I brought it just for a little bit of comparison here, and then you have the triax. So it's just two inches shorter. Honestly, the Halon was one of my favorite bows that Matthews ever produced. And by golly, I don't know how they did it, but the triax is a little bit quieter. Now what they did is they changed the harmonic dampener. You can see there's no harmonic dampener up top. It's down here, right on the front end of the limb pocket. And they call it the EHS harmonic stabilizer this year. And so this is the only harmonic dampener on the bow. And for whatever reason, it's quieter than the Halon. So let's go ahead and fling a couple down range and see how it feels. So initially like that first quarter of the draw, I think my mind wants it to be stiffer because that's what in theory it should be doing, but it doesn't really seem any more stiff or harder to draw than a 30 inch bow or a 32 inch bow. Man, I don't know, it's quiet, dead in the hand. Shot a few out of the triax. I'm just gonna shoot one out of the halon here. It just feels like there's maybe a little bit more vibration in the halon, and obviously I'm I'm really splitting hairs here, but the triax does feel a little bit better on the shot, which is crazy. I wouldn't have thought that. So another concern is a hard string angle on such a short axle-to-axle -axle bow. I don't really notice a difference when I'm shooting. I think the, the cams are big enough and at full draw. The bow feels longer than actual 20, 28 inches, so I don't really foresee it being an issue, but the only thing I can tell you is you need to go down to your bow shop and shoot a Triax for yourself, and you decide for yourself, because ultimately that's the only thing that matters. So we're going to run a few arrows here through the Halon and the Triax through the chronograph, and we'll see what kind of speeds we're getting. Okay, we have the Matthews Triax. Let's shoot it through the chronograph. We have the Bloodsport Evidence 350. This arrow weighs exactly 442 grains. Uh, the bow is 70 pounds, and as always, 29 inch draw length. We have the 85% uh, rock mod on there. Let's see what kind of speed we get. Two ninety-five, pretty good. Round two. Two ninety four, two ninety four. Okay, so just for grins, I'm gonna run the same arrow through with the Halon from 2016. Two ninety three, so one foot per second slower. So there it is. The Triax and the Halon, pretty similar. I think this one's a little quieter. Anyway, that's the Matthews Triax, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and watch for more bow reviews.